my students. I was so worried about them and I woke up to a nightmare is what really happened. A Ukrainian Canadian teacher from Winnipeg that spent time teaching in Kyiv is worried about her former students as fighting in the region continues. She's doing what she can to support them from afar by working with others to get critical supplies to Ukraine. Holly Hladoun taught in Kyiv in 2020 before returning to Manitoba to continue working as an educator. Soon after the war between Russia and Ukraine broke out, Hladoun began receiving troubling text messages from her former students who are stuck in the war zone. They are very frightened and scared. They are nervous. They are unsettled. They don't know what to do. Thankfully, they're with parents and, and uh, siblings and things like that to calm their emotions, but uh, they are trying to flee the country or they are bunkering down trying to stay safe. Hildoon says her initial grief was quickly replaced by an overwhelming need to help her students and all Ukrainians, so she started acquiring medical supplies and other items that are in short supply and desperately needed. Such as garbage bags to hide, uh, to cover windows during air raids, tin foil, uh, over-the-counter meds, uh, bulletproof vests are in high demand, high reflective uh, gear, thermal underwear, socks, hats, toques. Hildoon is asking anyone who can afford to purchase or share these items to contact her and she will help get them to the Ukrainian National Federation in Winnipeg. The group already loading up supplies to be sent to Ukraine via Poland as of Wednesday afternoon. Literally it's going to send lives because we're sending medical supplies, things that uh, stop blood, anti-burn gels and uh, people are being bombed and shelled every day and are dying. Anna Karpenko is one of several volunteers working out of Winnipeg with the Ukrainian National Federation to urgently ship supplies to civilians trapped in the war zone. Karpenko says people are being wounded daily and many are unable to get to hospitals for help. It's devastating. The pain is inhumane. It's, uh, no, it's terrible. It, it really is. Anyone who is interested in donating supplies or making a financial contribution can contact the Ukrainian National Federation of Canada. So far, Hildoon has raised more than $1,600 in donations. I am going to buy as many things as I can for Ukraine, and I will be dropping everything I get off on Monday. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.